water bottle. Woo! Sister Mayhew introduced our final speaker. This is really an easy job. This man needs no introduction. This man, we've been waiting 16 years to have a sitting premier of the province come here and speak to us on Labor Day. So without further introduction, without further words, a man who didn't even have to pay a toll to get here today, <laughs> Premier John Morgan. Greetings, uh, friends. I, I don't know why I'm hugging Harry. He took all the good lines. <laughs> Come hell or high water. I thought I said that. I thought I said that. It's great to be here in Surrey today on a holiday that celebrates working people. Isn't it fantastic to be here on Labor Day? I, uh, I appreciate uh, Lori's introduction, and, I, and I'm glad that she didn't take the line that I wanted, that I wanted to use, which is, I'm a bit taller than the last speaker. There we go. I'm John Horgan, and I work for you. It is a real privilege to be here to celebrate with working people at the end of the summer when we look back on what was a very, very difficult time for people living in the interior of this province, fires raging even today, new fires starting in the Kootenays. It's been a real challenging time to come to government, but I can't think of a better time to have a government that's focused on helping people, standing up, stepping up, getting in the way of those who want to hold us back, creating opportunity for young people by making sure that adult basic education is free in this province by making sure that kids in care can get post-secondary education and the skills that they need so they can create hope and opportunity for themselves and their families. In just the past three weeks, Melanie Mark has created 500 new training spaces for working people and working families across British Columbia. That's just in three weeks, friends. Imagine what we'll be able to do in three years. Working for you, working for British Columbians. Harry made reference to the minimum wage. You might have read a headline or heard a newscast about the minimum wage. I'm here to tell you, as Harry just did, the minimum wage will be $15 an hour in British Columbia. And if the Fair Wage Commission suggests we do it next year, all the better. But it will happen. We are committed to it, not just for this government, not just for just this generation, but for future workers to know that when you have a government that focuses on people, you get good outcomes for everybody. Harry talked about the Workers' Compensation Board. I've been a member of the legislature for a dozen years now, and the number one issue that comes into my office is working people who are, have been injured on the job and are not getting the compensation they, they deserve. We need to fix that. We will fix that so that when you go to work in the morning, you have confidence that you're going to come home safely at night. That's the minimum requirement, it seems to me. And we're going to enforce the laws. We're going to enforce employment standards so that working people can have the comforts and the satisfaction of knowing that their government is finally on their side. Now, a lot of people have been talking today. It's a hot, hot day. I've got to have great empathy for my, my friends holding the cameras out here in the noonday sun. So I'm going to conclude by saying that it has been 16 years in the making. We finally have a government that's focused on people. We finally have a government that wants to make a better BC, not by holding people down, not by dividing people, but bringing people together. And I can't think of a better way to symbolize that than to see our friends from the federal Liberal Party, the BC New Democrats, standing side by side for a better British Columbia because in my experiences with Justin Trudeau and the federal government and working with the MLAs and the MPs of all political parties, we're going to get better outcomes for people. Working together is better every day of the week when you start from the premise that we are working for you. I know my colleagues will agree with that. I'd like to see some head shakes over there, some clapping. Thank you very much. And with that, 
Friends, enjoy a day off. It was hard fought for. The rights of workers did not come overnight. It didn't come without struggle, and the struggle continues. We need to stand firm, stand strong, stand together to hold what we have and make a better British Columbia for everybody. Those who are, have the good fortune of being in a union and those who want to be in a union, we want to make sure that your government's there for you. Thanks for coming out. Have a spectacular day.